ago I saw a prototype of this thing, and what it does is it does gender recognition. So it recognizes your gender, and then it targets the ad uh, based upon your gender. And that's exactly what this thing does, except this thing's actually in production. This is from um, Hardware Industries with some uh, software called Cognivision on it. This is running on Core 2 uh, Duo uh, with, um, uh, Core 2 Duo with, uh, uh, with uh, uh, vPro inside of it. The ad is running, which can be targeted through this face recognition stuff here. But then also the consumer can interact with it, uh, can touch the screen uh, in order to bring up other features. If I'm, in a, if I'm in a mall, I've just looked at an ad, I want to find out how to go reach that product, I can do that very, very easily. Uh, and uh, uh, so the machine can A, figure out, this is a super smart digital sign, it can figure out who I am, what I'm interested in, and then it can lead me to where I can want to go and buy it. And that's one example, and vPro is used here for being able to remotely manage these things. If you've got thousands of them, you don't want people running around reprogramming them. That's actually what happens now. Uh, this stuff can be done remotely. Uh, this here is a, uh, is a prototype, and it's a prototype for a different industry. It's the gaming industry. Like it or not, gaming is a big deal. A lot of people do this stuff. Uh, and what we have here is a fully on-the-fly reprogrammable gaming machine. Uh, it happens to be set up uh, for, um, I don't even know what the name of this, what the name of this game is. It's the one that goes ka jing ka -ching, and makes tons of noise. There you go. It's like being, like being in Las Vegas. Uh, of course I won. That was bound to be read that way. <laughs> if I don't like the game, you know, I can flip over to another game roulette, uh, or um, I could uh, maybe order a drink. That sounds like a great idea. Um, beer, wine, or cocktail. Well, I'm a Brit, so it's going to be a beer. Um, but but uh, what, what's going on here, of course, is you have far more flexibility because um, someone can be sat somewhere at a console. They can be seeing exactly what the demand is. They can be configuring the demand on the fly, and so forth. Um, so what we're seeing then is, uh, you know, great new uh, technologies moving in with embedded 